Hey Sagittarius, this is Alex Angel, and I am here to bring you your love and romance tarot and oracle card reading. Uh, the video and reading may resonate at any given moment in time. However, the video is being published for May of 2020. I hope you guys are doing well. For this reading, I am using Gilded Tarot, Rider Waite, um, the Romance Angel, and then Earth Magic Oracle cards, okay? I've already laid out your Gilded Tarot, um, and now I'm just laying out your Rider Waite. Um, I remember your readings from the past Sagittarius and you guys were kind of going through it, but then started to kind of level out. But based on what I'm looking here, okay, y'all just have more, y'all are like the golden children right now of the Zodiac. Cause I'm here to tell you Sagittarius, you have even more opportunity coming your way. Gosh, it sucks to be you. Look, look at what we open with. The Six of Wands, okay? Um, I dare to say things are going your way, right? Especially with what's going on in the world today. It's like, is anything going anybody's way? And the answer is yes. For you, Sagittarius, like yes, okay? Six of Wands just basically means you got your, you got your mojo back, right? You got your rhythm back. You're no longer worried. Um, you're no longer scared, right? You're no longer panicking, Right now, it's almost like we could breathe. I just heard angels say, we could breathe. All right, good. Nine of Cups. Emotional wish fulfilled, okay? For you, that could have been, again, okay, I didn't get put out this month, right? So I'm happy and I can love again. And I remember that coming up in one of your previous readings, okay? But what I want to do right now is kind of read these in sync or how do we want to do this? Angels are saying read them horizontal as I've been reading them. Okay. Big decision. Some kind of crossroad coming up. Um, oh, I kind of feel like it's almost like you have to say to yourself, do I continue riding this wave or do I try something different or do I take the chance on this particular, whether it's a love, love opportunity, business opportunity, but I kind of feel like there's this really weird decision that you guys have to make um, that has to do with continuing the good fortune and good feeling that you are experiencing right now. It's almost like you're saying to yourself again, all right, do I have to, I know eventually this is going to end or I'm going to have to cut this off or, you know, the honeymoon is going to come to an end. So then I'm going to have to get back down to it. Um, the moon card, oh, emotionally. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense to me. They're riding a wave wave of like pure emotion, right? But somewhere along the line, um, I don't know if this is an ultimatum or somebody made it, made, you know, kind of are, are, is wanting something from you or wanting you to change something, wanting you to cut out something, wanting you to get rid of something, right? And that kind of has you kind of in a funk maybe, you know, kind of like, you know, your wife making you get rid of your old project car that's been sitting in the garage that you just love to death and you were going to uh, finish eventually, maybe over the next 20 years. Um, for me, the moon card is oh, converting emotions, right? Because the moon card usually has like wolves and then also dogs, right? When you think about a wolf, a wolf, a wolf is like wild emotions, right? And wild moods. But when you think about a dog, a dog is more like domesticated and tempered, okay? And look at, you know, speaking of tempered, you do have the temperance coming here. So I do kind of feel like for you and, you know, I kind of feel like whatever this decision is that somebody is making or you're having to make, you know, it kind of has you a little bit nervous and also in a funk because either you're going from the dog to the wolf or the wolf to the dog. It's almost like I'm giving away something or a part of me that's primal and then also evolved, right? So um, it's weird because 
it's okay sorry it's weird because I feel like it's necessary or it's going to help you evolve it's going to help you there's a whole lot of love oh this love is a sacrifice okay so in other words whatever this decision is you're if you decide to do it it's going to show and prove how much you love the person you're doing it for right now if you don't do if you don't make this decision this decision right it's going to show how much love you have for whatever it is you're not trying to get up, give up. So that's what makes this decision so hard, right? And to an extent, it makes you nervous because I feel like on, on both sides of it is a whole lot of love, right? And and again, it's it's not, you know, this is not the page. This is not the knight. This is the king, Right. So this is pretty much established. Like this is something that maybe other people benefit from. You know, this is something that's been around for a long time. But to me, it feels like a sacrifice. And again, there you are with temperance. Because like, I kind of feel like whatever this is that, um, you know, let's call it a relationship. You you making sacrifices for the person that you love because you love them. Um, I kind of also feel like this particular person that you do love is going to have to be patient with you whether you decide to keep it or let it go they're going to have to be patient with you but they're also going to have to understand look whatever it is that it is is at stake right now is a part of you right that's what this is it's a part of you right it's a it's a part of you that could be ugly or not mostly seen it could be very vulnerable it could be deep down inside of you it's a part of you that you may, you just may not be willing to let go of right now, right? And the two cards, by the way, under temperance is the eight of wands and then also the page of cups. So this is immediate relief, you know, in that, okay, I made the right decision. And look, speaking of decision, judgment is the next card under. So I do kind of feel like, again, um, Sagittarius, it's almost like you have a situation in front of you that details and has many different parts and you're trying to figure out which part maybe to remove or maybe what part to add to it and it's almost like a, a game of jenga right if you remove the wrong part everything's going to come crashing down or if you move the right part it's like all right we get to live another day or we get to like you know um move on happily and peacefully okay now let's talk about sub energy, right? The person or energy that's around you and how they're feeling feeling, and what sacrifices they could be willing to make in this situation. They know it's grueling. They know. They know you've been racking your brain, right? You got two nines here. Mind, um, passion, energy, going forward, path, right? So we know excuse me, how tough this, this decision is. I mean, it, I feel like to an extent, it's going to hurt you in some way, shape or form. Whatever this sacrifice is, whatever it is that you're giving up or taking on, I feel like, again, it's going to take a hit to, it may trigger you maybe, it may tap on an internal wound. Um, it may make you a little crazy, stir crazy momentarily, right? Um, but it's not going to last long. It's almost like um, it's going to affect you you're going to deal with it and then 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 everything is going to be okay. Look at that right there. Another page of cups and another uh I don't yeah, the other 9 of cups cuz you have the 9 of cups here. This is basically saying that whatever this is that you have going on Sagittarius is going to be worth it. Whatever the sacrifice is, it is absolutely worth it. I feel like um emotional support or emotional love that's in your life is going to benefit from it. Right. I feel like especially, you know, this is a wish fulfilled. Right. As in you got what you wanted. You got what you needed. You got the love or, you know, whatever it is that you needed. And then, you know, this to me is the continuation or more of that love coming to you. Right. Not only that, but with the three of pentacles, as a result of that, you guys built something wonderful and great. OK. And it all had to do with you know, again, you sacrificing, you know, you may be kind of going against yourself, going against that primal nature, or 
you listening to that intuition and rejecting, you know, kind of conformity and um, conventionalism. And yeah, it hurt. It hurt momentarily, but eventually it will work out. I'm trying to see if uh, angels have channeled messages for you as well. I feel like you guys already know what to do. You've already made a decision. You're going to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are going to, you guys are going to side with love and side what's best maybe for your loved ones. Yeah, what I keep hearing is that it's for the best, it's for the best. I don't know how that applies to you, um, Sagittarius, but I feel like it's for the best. You know what I just got as well? This could be the difference between um, conventionalism, getting a corporate job versus doing something you love, right? Like landscaping as an example. It's almost like there is a battle between doing what I am supposed to do that's going to guarantee me money and take care of my family or am I going out on a limb and doing some something unconventional but that I just love so much right I personally can absolutely relate to that and I would just say make that transition work on and plan what that transition looks like you know do you save up a bunch of money um, do you, and then quit and then go into, you know, that passion career, or do you do them both at the same time? You know what I mean? I kind of feel like, again, whatever it is, Sagittarius, you're going to come up with the right answer. Again, I know guys, it's supposed to be love and romance, but like I told you, whatever my angels decide, they're going to decide. All right. All right. Let's see what the romance angels have. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Yes. That's what I was saying early in the reading is that, okay, I got to interrupt this current right now. And it's unfortunate because I like how it feels now and I like going with the flow. Right. So I do kind of feel like for some of you, you are on your cloud nine and you see the airport coming up. Like you can see the runway. You started your descent. Unfortunately, you know, you're going to have to land that baby soon, right? But enjoy the last moments of it, right? Enjoy the scenery, enjoy the air, enjoy the view, okay? Live in the present moment. <sighs> Is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Is it safe to love to me says... Yes, is it is it safe for me to go after this love project and this passion project, okay? God is always going to make a way for you, Sagittarius. I will say to you, don't be stupid, right? Like, don't be stupid, but have faith, okay? Last of the romance angel cards, you deserve love. You are lovable, right? This to me also says that you will attract a lot of love, right? That's something you need to consider as well. So whatever this thing is, this love project, this love passion, it could be having a baby, right? Just think about something. If you are in love and you want to have a baby and this is just a lifelong dream, always remember that that baby is going to receive the love as well. So just as you are gen generating and, and um, um, emitting love and, you know, kind of um, like glowing or whatever have you, others are going to benefit from that, right? So if for nothing else, that's what makes it worth it, right? That's absolutely what makes it worth it. All right, last cards of the set is the Energy, excuse me, Earth Magic by Stephen D. Farmer. Okay, he also made my Tarot of Dreams cards, I think. All right, my beautiful Sagittarius. First card up, Ancestors and Generations. Wow, it's crazy because I was just talking about if you decide to have a baby, okay? Remember something. Um, what you do right now, right, is going to affect your generation line, right? So the genes that are inside of you now, G-E-N-E-S, those genes that are inside of you now, you're going to pass those on, Right? So I kind of feel like this kind of goes back to that decision. Just remember that. Just remember that um, 
what you're doing is going to affect your generation line, uh, your generation line to come. Angels are also saying to me too, but not just your generation line, but the people that you touch, right? You know, you guys ever remember that commercial? Um, I think it was a suave commercial and it was almost like, and you do it and then you tell somebody else and they tell somebody else and then they tell somebody else. That's how things flow and kind of move through our world, okay? Icebergs submerged. This is basically the behind the scenes stuff that a lot of people don't know about. Um, this is checking with yourself deep down inside, uh, Sagittarius, your subconscious, right? That part of you that's down deep that nobody knows about. We want you to make the decision from that part also, right? So as an example, yes, if it makes sense, it's good, it's feasible, it's going to help people, people are going to benefit, you know, my family is going to be okay. But at the end of the day, when you're done, everything is said and done, will it make you happy? Will it make you happy on bad days, right? Will it make you happy um, when nothing's going on, okay? That's the, the, the root and the core that we also want you to consider as well. Last card, lightning and power. I love this. This to me is universal energy, right? This is a surge, right, of power and energy as in you have that reach. You absolutely do have that reach. You can reach whomever, right? Yeah, and by the way, you don't need to physically travel anywhere to reach anybody. This to me is light worker type work. This to me is healing type work, right? Distance healing, universal healing. You have that ability, right? Not only that, but when I look at these other cards as well as in your ancestors, you know, this is history. This is everything before you. This to me is everything after you, right? Every about everybody and what you give out and what you give away. Right. And then also at the same time, your supply, your substance, what's in the core, what, you know, that um, I was going to say repository. Right. Or I was going to better word is reservoir. What is it that you have to give? Right. You also have to remember ice cold relates to emotions. Right. Because water is, you know, a symbol of emotions as well. Right. So we need to make sure that you are exploring all of the sides of you that don't want to do this, right? Sometimes to make a decision, you can first go through the bad parts, right? The pitfalls, right? But we don't want you to go through that stuff to discourage you. We want you to go through that stuff in preparation, right? So I feel like submerged in iceberg is basically saying, yes, what's hidden, what's hidden below the surface as well, whether it's hidden below the surface in you or in this particular situation as well, okay? So my lovely Sagittarius, I hope that helps. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe if it resonates. I love you guys so much. Take care.